The second thing that we did, which nobody had done at the time, so the conventional wisdom was start a company, get some advisors, get some investors, normally four or five people may be involved, and kind of go. And I took a step back and I thought, why five? Why three? Why not a hundred? Why not a whole community? So when we started about .me, we had 26 advisors for four people. That's six and a half advisors for each one of us. It's pretty good, huh? Right? Kind of crazy. Everybody's like, what, what are you doing, dude? It's like, I don't know. It just makes sense, right? These are people that I'm excited to have involved in my project. This is karma. These are people that I like. These are people I hang out with. They're people I respect. And most importantly, they're people that understood our product and could help us to create awareness and generate massive, massive early adoption. Getting people like Kevin Rose or Veronica Belmont or Om Malik or Matt Mullenweg or Dick Costello, CEO of Twitter. These are great people to get involved in your project, right? You're not going to be able to get, most likely, you know, Kevin Rose. But you're somebody. Maybe you can get Jeff Clavier. Maybe you can get me. Maybe you can get somebody else, right, that you come across. And you should always think about, this is somebody I want to have a long-term relationship with. When I met these people, I was creating my luck, right? I didn't have an idea of how I was going to work with them, but I knew to take a long-term approach. It's what Jeff was talking about. You know, don't come up and try to hit lightning. Meet Jeff. Meet him this year. Meet him next year. Keep in touch with them. Send them information. You'll create your own luck eventually.